Hello and welcome once again to Your Shout, the show that gathers all your opinions up and puts them back out there for everybody else to hear. Uh, we've got the Fantasy Premier League show coming up really, really soon. I'm just getting all the info together at the moment so we want you all to join on on that so watch this space keep an eye on the twitter and keep an eye on the forum right it's been there's been quite a lot of interesting news very very recently so first up we've got regular tom and then we've got my old mate canning town lynn hi guys just wanted to talk a little bit about marco arnautovic today he's handed in a transfer request at stoke which could potentially be fantastic news for us obviously as we've been heavily linked with a player in the last couple of days uh, now, me personally, I really rate the player. I think he's a fantastic player, and I've liked him. I've liked him for a few years now. I really have. Um, I think he ticks a lot of boxes. Um, I'm just thinking, to be honest with you, if we were to play a four-two-three-one formation, that three behind the forward of Lanzini, Antonio, Arnautovic, you've got fantastic creativity there and what you've also got is fluidity in the sense that all three of those can interchange their positions and that just makes it so hard then for opposition teams to set up against that so it would be exciting stuff and especially if then we can add a mobile fit striker to play in front of them we'd be a really entertaining team to watch next season I really believe that so it would be a great signing from that perspective. Um, also, personally, Arnautovic, I, I really love the arrogance of the bloke. He plays with arrogance. I really like that. He always wants the ball. He's always demanding it. He's always willing to take people on, not scared to make mistakes. I really, really like that. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you've got players maybe like Robert Snodgrass, who came to a bigger club. We are a bigger club than Hull at the end of the day, I think it's fair to say. So he came to a bigger club. And I think he drowned under the pressure a little bit. Alnautovic ain't going to do that. He's too arrogant for that. And that's why, I like, that's why I like the arrogance in him. I really do. This could be a top, top signing. Now, another reason why it would be a good signing is I think it will show fantastic intent. Because what we'd be doing is we'd be taking a main asset away from a rival club. Because Stoke, like us, you could argue mid-table Premier League club. You're taking their best player, potentially. I think that's fantastic. I think that shows real intent and it shows that we're going in the right direction and eventually, hopefully, we'll get to where we all want to be. So hopefully we don't mess this one up. Hopefully we get the dirt deal done and dusted because obviously now it's come out and now it's handed in a transfer request. I would have concerns that other clubs are going to come in and be interested. So let's just hope we can get the deal done. At the end of the day, God knows we all deserve a bit of good news, don't we? So fingers crossed in a few days' time we hear some good news. Right, thanks a lot guys. Take it easy. Len here in Witherspoons. This Stoke City geezer, I don't fancy him. Well, I do, but I can't pronounce his name. I mean, I struggle with normal everyday words like hospital, or as you London Stadium popcorn munchers would say, hospital. It's hospital. Hospital. Uh, what are we going to do with Snodgrass? Come on, you irons. Thank you very much, Len. Horse Piddle, otherwise known as Oda Green Street on match day. Uh, you could, he's a bit of a technophobe, Len. He's only just started to get into this, but he is on Twitter. He's quite opinionated and he's quite prolific, so you can follow him at at Canning Town Len. I think it's as simple as that. I'll stick it in the description below. Big thank you to Tom, who's as tactically switched on as anybody else at the moment, and making some really, really good points about Anatovic coming in. Next up, and I'm going to run all the remaining videos um, all, all back to back, basically. Um, We've got Mike coming up next. I think he wants to talk about um, the players, some, some bargain basement players coming in, perhaps, and he is reporting from outside his house. Hello there, fellow West Ham supporters. It's Mike here. Um, all this talk about uh, uh, big-name transfers coming in and all the transfer speculation, etc., etc., it's done me thinking about the identity of West Ham as a team and what we really are and who we really are. I mean, who is West Ham? We are a working class club from the east end of London. We play a certain, we're known for playing a certain style of attractive football. We're really renowned for developing youth talent, you know, um, the academy of football, etc., etc. Um, we have passionate and loyal supporters. We're pretty renowned for that. Um, the other thing we've got at is unearthing a hidden gem or a bit of uh, 
bit of football talent from nowhere. And I think we've certainly been doing that recently. If you think of um, Lanzini, Kyote, Obiang, Fernandez, Pies, Creswell, Masuako, even Saka, I know he's injured, but you know, we seem to do better when we speculate to accumulate than when we um, try and buy in uh, proven Premier League players such as Snodgrass or the forever injured Andy Carroll. Um, anyway, do we really need that big name striker? Well, we definitely need some forwards. We really, really do. Is it the end of the world if we've never heard of them before? I'd never heard of most of those other players before. Um, maybe a bit of speculation would work. Maybe we should be looking for the right player rather than the big name. That's it. That's all my thoughts are. Um, I hope you like that. Uh, you're probably, though, all sitting there wondering, how does he fit in that tiny house? Well, it's a struggle every day. Bye for now. I just want to go on about the, um, basically, the fixture changes. I think it's frustrating for everybody. I think it's absolute joke. I think um, we've been through enough without having to uh, go through all these uh, fixture changes itself. I keep changing them to from, the, from a Saturday game. Um, to like midweek, some of us got to go, go from from far and wide. No, I'm, I'm yeah, you know, fair enough. I live in um, I live in East Sussex, it's, but it's still a mission um, to come and get to the ground when I've got two kids uh, on a school night to get there and come and watch a team that you love so much. And I, you know, obviously, I've been a fan for it for um, for years. He's got my dad, and um, you know, uh, you know, when I, when I was a kid, so. Uh, it's just not on. I think it's not on. It's not on for uh, all the all the people that uh, come from far and wide. And they, you know, some of them have to get a, a plane from from abroad and they have to do all their planning and and then book all these flights and stuff like that. I, I just think it stinks. I think I think the club have got it all wrong. Um, I thought this season was going to be different, but now I, I'm starting to get um, a bit worried, and I think that uh, things are not going to change. I don't think anything's. Uh, going to change uh, uh, like, like, like they promised again as my term would be dang near the carrot um, and I, I just think we've been sold down the river I think we didn't need to move I think uh, Baz Cox says we didn't we, it was a point we, or, and Tom Down said the same we don't need we, we just didn't need to move we would have filled um, Upton Park with 36,000 people and, and just be mid table but uh, we got told that we were going to be a top four top six clubs but one thing for sure, if this don't change and we don't sign nobody, what they promised, I won't, and I'll promise to you, uh, the club, I will not be renewing the, se the next season, the season after this season, because I think it's an absolute piss take, a joke, and, I, and I'm very disappointed. So um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see some changes. So come on, you irons. Hi guys, this is Alan. Uh, this is my breakdown of what is currently going on at West Ham United at the moment with regards to our transfers, um, who we are targeting, who I'd like to see come, who I'd like to see go. Um, at the moment, we're, we're sort of linked with uh, Joe Hart, Theo Walcott, Olivier Giroud and Javier Hernandez, all of which I would actually like to see come in. Uh, main reason being is they all have international experience, they all have the experience with top four teams, um, it will just take us up that extra level and the stability in that extra level that we need to be challenging between the Europa League and the Champions League spot. I don't think our finances are quite stable enough uh, to constantly challenge for a Champions League place in Slaven Bilic's first season in charge that I, I wouldn't say it's so much as a fluke but it it, it took us where we need to to at least challenge year on year and where we want to be year on year um, who I'd li like to see go is uh, effectively more and more importantly the Afro Sacco, Robert Snodgrass and James Collins. The Afro Sacco with his with his injuries and his constant stropping um, is affecting the morale in the changing room and he just needs to go. He needs to understand mentally and physically that he can't demand a starting place as soon as he said right you're off 
the medical table. Um, the same with Andy Carroll. He, we have spent so much money on him. I think we've probably spent more money on him trying to get him fit every single year than he's actually played. And we, our return on investment in terms of goals, when he's on the pitch, he can score goals, but he's he's between a 9-13 to 13 goal a season player, and that's not the sort of calibre we need to attract at the moment. In terms of Snodgrass, I watched a game last season, and I thought his crosses were absolutely diabolical. Um, in terms of pushing these transfers through, um, David Gold and David Sullivan need to really pull their finger out and possibly say, just put the extra money forward and worry about the accumulation of the money later. Spend now, accumulate later. It's, that's how business goes. You've got to spend money to make money, basically. Um, and that's where I'm going to finish it. Um, I'd love to hear your comments on what I have to say. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, Shane. And of course, thank you, Mike. And thank you to everybody that sent in videos so far. I've really enjoyed this new little project. And your shout is definitely here to stay. We can't do it without you. And the opinions coming in are really, really good. I've great fun editing them and putting them out there for you all to see. Um, keep them coming. Keep the videos coming. Info at hammerschat.com. That's info at hammerschat.com. Record yourself like you've seen the fellas do today. Send it in. We'll do the rest every time i get four five six videos i'll put a new your shout video out there for you i'm really looking forward to it once the season kicks off as well hopefully some of you can send in um some of your footage and some of your opinions from inside the stadium as well something that would be really good and quite a nice feature particularly for those that don't get to attend the games or people from around the world who tune into this sort of thing gives um you know a little bit of a different view from inside right a uh, big thanks to our sponsor noble holidays link below if you need to get away just have a look they've got lots of deals lots of offers on there as well um, we've got as I say the Premier League show coming up soon that's fantasy football show so what, I, what I'm doing is putting the code out there for all you lot to join I want you all to join and um, what we'll do is we'll do sort of we'll do a little show every couple of weeks on it and you know sort of document where everybody is who's winning who's losing who's doing terribly I'll take you through all the sort of small details about how to pick a team and I'll show you how I do mine not that I would ever suggest following me. I'm absolutely useless at fantasy football, but it should be fun. Um, myself and Gio are back on Thursday with a cup of tea about 8.30ish. So just keep an eye on Hammers Chat Twitter for that. Um, you can join us, have a chat to us on our forum, hammerschat.com. You can leave comments below or even better, video yourself and send them in to me. Please click subscribe there. The subs have been absolutely brilliant for what is basically a brand new venture. Um, press subscribe all that happens is you get notifications when we do a new video right i'm going to go and process this and get it out to you now on what is tuesday evening and thank you very much for watching thanks for joining in and once again thanks to everybody who sent in the videos until next time come on you irons